Mirabel is the most central resort in the enormous Three Valleys ski area. It sits in the Alou Valley in the Savoie region of France. Transfer times to the resort will depend on the airport you fly to. Although most people fly to Geneva or Lyon, transfer times can be cut in half by flying to Chambry, which is only an hour away. Or, if your first name is Sheikh, you can fly into the Altiport in Mirabel itself. The original development of Meribel as a ski resort began in 1938. Back then, Austria had been the British ski destination of choice. During the 30s, Hitler's continued defiance of the Treaty of Versailles and his attempts to annex Austria to Germany made it a less popular destination. In 1938, Austria joined the Third Reich, and it was in that year that a British army officer, Peter Lindsay, began his development of Meribel as a ski resort. The outbreak of war in 1939 halted his plans for Meribel, but in 1945 he returned to continue with his development of the resort. Today all the buildings in Meribel are built according to Lindsay's designs, from timber and stone with double pitched roofs, making for a very pretty alpine resort. There is access to the slopes of Meribel from as low down as 600 metres in Breed le Ban, as well as from Les Alou, which sits at 1100 metres, and the hamlets of Chandon, Crouet and Le Raffort, which lie slightly below in the main town, are also connected. These smaller hamlets are much quieter than the town of Meribel itself, and it's worth remembering that later in the season it's not always possible to ski home, so they can only be accessed by the bubble. Above Meribel there is the purpose-built town of Meribel Motteray. Sitting at 1,750 metres, it offers ski-in, ski-out accommodation, and despite being built in the 1970s when some of the ugliest resorts on the planet were built, it remains quite a charming little village with its own shops, bars and restaurants. The main town of Meribel lies at the foot of the slopes at 1,450 metres, with the majority of the chalets sitting on the eastern side of the mountain, where they command beautiful views and enjoy sunshine in the afternoons. Most of these chalets are available to holidaymakers through a wide selection of tour operators. As Meribel's town centre is compact, there are not as many shopping opportunities here as you'll find in some other resorts. Most of the shops in town cater towards the ski and snowboard market, and if you need to buy or rent equipment then you'll find yourself well serviced by the shops here. Almost everything you'll need is in Sport Boutique, which has been in Meribel since 1947, when it was the first ski shop in town. Sport Boutique stocks a wide selection of brands, including fashion labels like Prada and Dolce & Gabbana, just in case you need to make your ski suit that little bit more glamorous. One of Mirabel's most famous bar restaurants sits on the slopes above the town. Le Rompoint is a popular lunchtime and après ski destination, and any trip to Mirabel should include a drink on the terrace here. Sitting on the piece below the Altiport, Le Blanchot is without doubt one of Meribel's finest restaurants. Warm and comfortable with stunning views, the restaurant has a lunch and dinner menu offering contemporary French cuisine and a surprising selection of fresh fish. Most of the bars in town are grouped together in the centre just below the tourist office. Here you'll find popular favourites such as the Poste de Secure, Scots, the Doron, Barometer and La Taverne. As if that wasn't enough, there's also Dick's Tea Bar on the edge of town for those who want to stay out late. Meribel is an undeniably pretty resort. The insistence that all the buildings be built with double pitch roofs and fronted with stone and timber means that there is a consistency throughout the town and none of the hotels or chalets stand out as an eyesore. The free bus snakes through the town and runs from about 8am until midnight, meaning that even if you're not near the centre, you can still catch the bus into town. A good thing, as some of the chalets are a steep walk home after a visit to the lifts, shops or even pub. Thoroughly British despite its alpine look, Meribel is a great destination for those looking for comfort and familiarity. Meribel looks like a French ski resort. Its buildings and setting give it an almost picture postcard look. 
Within Meribel, though, there exists a large British community, and a lot of the bars, shops and restaurants are staffed by Brits. Offering the best from both nations, Peter Lindsay would certainly be proud of his creation.